brethren, sistren, friends, associates, greetings to all of you faithful ones on this journey with me, this journey of 30 days to greater self-love and greetings to all those others who will be benefiting from this by viewing it. We are at day 17. Yesterday we focused on the benefits to be derived from exercise as part of the series of habits that will lead to increased self-love. In recent days, we have been talking a lot about cleaning. We spoke about clearing up, decluttering your home environment and the benefits of that. We also spoke about cleaning up, clearing up your schedule. And again, the tremendous benefits that that will allow you greater peace of mind, less stress, and even a greater sense of actually feeling purposeful and good about yourself. Today, for day 17, we go back to cleaning. This time, your task and our focus for today is on you cleaning up your social life. If we are honest, each of us have at least one person in our social space that ought not to be there. We know that they are not healthy for us. It might be that friend that you have that consistently attempts to and maybe even succeeds in using you. It might be that family member who is always being abusive and disrespectful to you. For others, it might be that high school or college friend, acquaintance, or even an ex that you allow in your social life, but you know is absolutely unhealthy for you, your peace of mind, or even your current romantic relationship. Whoever that person is, there are persons like that in our social life and the challenge today is to start today and as usual make it a habit of assessing your social life so here's what i'm going to ask you to do make some time as we challenge you from the very beginning to set aside time for these exercises and make a list of all the people that are in your life you might want to use Excel, spreadsheet in Excel to make that list. Or of course, there's good old fashioned pen and a paper. But go through and make that list and then begin to cross out names based on what you know to be the kind of person that is healthy and empowering to be in your life, to have the privilege of being in your social space. Start crossing names out and continue that process. Drill down until your list becomes as trimmed as possible. Until you are left with only those people who mean you well, only those people who respect you, only those people who are building you up, only those persons who are contributing to you becoming the best version of you. You deserve nothing less. If you love yourself, you see, you will know that you deserve to only have the right people in your social space. The right people sitting at your table of influence. I've been seeing this quite a lot online recently. You are the sum total of the five, the top five persons that you are most closely associated with. Now, of course, what that means is if you have five such persons who are going nowhere they are dead ends then according to that theory you're not going anywhere yourself so you want to surround yourself with the right kind of persons so do an inventory and this is tremendously beneficial not just for you developing greater self-love but for you overall your overall health your spiritual health your mental health your emotional health and even your physical health so for today, clean up 
your social space. That's the challenge. I know it might be a little bit difficult. Now, this might mean that you might need to have a conversation with some persons about that shift that you are making. For others, all you simply need to do is to stop, re stop responding to their text messages, their WhatsApp, their Facebook, their Instagram, DM, Twitter, whatever method of communication, just stop. Perhaps you might need to actually go a step further and block some persons or some person. But whatever it takes, be clinical about this. Be surgical about this and clean up your social space. Your better self will thank you for it later. Go for it. Make some time and do this. Remember, we're building the habits that will lead to greater self-love because we want you to become all that you can and should be. This is Coach TJ once again, helping you to make that vertical leap from mediocrity to legacy. Have a tremendous day and all the best as you make that step of cleaning up your social life.